The next command that we're going to learn is the circle tool on the draw toolbar. Now the circle tool I mean, has a little arrow, downward arrow, which means that it has more options to offer. When you click on the downward arrow, it's going to give you all these options. Okay, By default, the option is center radius, which means it will draw a circle using a center point and a radius and it will give you a little display of what it wants you to do. So if I hold my mouse on top of that for a second, it will tell me that um, when you're drawing the circle, you have to specify the center point first, which is the number one, and then specify the radius. The other options there are center diameter. Um, in this case, you would specify the center point of a circle and then the diameter that you want. There is a two-point option, which is going to put a circle between two points. A three-point option, which is going to draw a circle between three points that you can specify. There is also tan tan radius and tan tan tan. Okay? So depending on what the intent of your drawing is, you can use any of these options. Okay. Typically, you would use the center radius or the center diameter option. So if you want to draw a circle that is 2 inches in radius, then you would select the default option here, which is center radius. Now, like I said earlier, there's three ways of getting to any command in AutoCAD. From the ribbon, you can go to center radius or center diameter or any of these options you want. You can also go back to the draw menu on the menu bar, go all the way down to circle, and these are all your options again. Center radius, center diameter, two point, three point, tan, tan radius, and tan, tan, tan. You can also go down to the command prompt, type C for circle, and hit enter. Now this is where it changes a little bit. On the command prompt, if you see, it's going to tell you specify center point for circle. By default, CAD is going to use the center radius command, which is the first option in the, in the circle toolbar if you go up here. The first option is center radius. That's the default option. So if you wanted to draw a circle using center radius, you don't have to do anything. You just have to click and draw. If you wanted to draw a circle using center diameter, then you have to do a couple of steps, which I'll show you in a minute. The other options are available in a bracket here. And if you wanted to change it to a three-point circle, then you have to type 3P, 3P and hit enter. Then it changes to a three-point circle. If you wanted to use, I'm going to go back to the circle command, two-point option, you type 2P, and it changes to a two-point option. I'm going to show you how to draw a default circle using the default option which is 2 inches in radius. Okay, So we go up here, click on circle. The first thing you have to do is specify the center point. So click somewhere on the screen. Right now we're not particular about the location. We're just getting used to drawing a circle. Then you can either move your mouse out and sort of graphically decide where you want the circle to go. CAD will show you how far it's going. If you look at the blue text that it's changing. So when you hit the two inch mark, you can either click or if you want to be very precise, all you have to do is type two and hit enter and you will get a circle which is two inches in radius. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. Circle. Click somewhere on the screen. And then all you do is type two and there you have your circle which is two inches in radius. Say I wanted this to be two inches in diameter. What do I do? I can go up here, select this option, or I type C in the command prompt. It's asking me to specify center point. You always have to do that when you're doing center radius or center diameter. I click on the screen. Now, if I want to switch to the diameter option, I have to type D for diameter first, and then I type 2 for diameter. And now this is a circle 2 inches in diameter. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. C for circle. Click on the screen somewhere. You have to type D for diameter first and then type the diameter 2 and there you have a circle. Okay. If you wanted to create a two-point circle, you can click there. I'm going to create a circle between this circle and this circle. And there it is. So what I did was I clicked on 
two-point circle here. I have my O snaps on, so it's snapping onto a perpendicular point here, and then a perpendicular point there, and then I have a two-point circle. Okay. The same thing works with the three-point circle. You can go click and click and click, and it will fit your circle between three points. And if you had ever any use for drawing a three-point circle, then you would use this.